Hey techies, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something super exciting, combining the power of large language models with your SQL database. That's right, we are gonna explore Wana AI, which makes interacting with your database easier than ever before. So what exactly is Wana AI? Wana AI combines LLMs like ChatGPT or Llama with your vector stores to make database queries easier and smarter. We will walk through the step-by-step -step process of get setting up Wana AI and connecting it with your SQL database. You will be able to interact with your data using natural language. How cool is that? All right, let's jump into the setup. First things first, we need to install Wana AI and its dependencies. Just run this simple pip command. I have mentioned the versions which I'm using. You can alter as required. Uh, I will just run it for you. I've already set everything on my system. That's why I chose requirement already satisfied. Moving on, I will tell you what SQL database which uh, I'm using. I'm using publicly available Chinook MySQL database. I have mentioned this link in the description below. Once you click this link, you will be able to download, download the database. And after that, you are supposed to run these commands and set it up. And in the source alone, you're supposed to give in the path where you have downloaded the um, database. Let me show you um, the database also. Yeah, this is how it looks. It contains the albums, the artists, the customers, employees, and all other stuffs um, with respect to this. Moving on, I'm using Llama 3 from Olama. So you are supposed to set Olama as well if you want, if you want to use um, this particular LLM or you can go with your choice. Uh, for Mac, you can download it here. I have mentioned this link also in the description below. You, you can get it from there. Then after, you know, downloading Olama, you are supposed to run this command on your terminal. On your terminal. Olama pull Llama 3. Let me show that as well. Yeah, I've done it several times. As you can see, Olama pull Llama 3 will pull um, Llama 3 to your local system and you will be able to work with that. Next, let's import the necessary modules from Wana AI. That is Olama, and I'm using Chroma DB for Vector Store. Now, we are going to create a custom class that combines the power of both Chroma DB and Olama, giving you a powerhouse combo for querying database. Okay, initializing Chroma DB, initializing Olama, then you know I'm giving him the Llama 3 model. Uh, uh, um, LLM which I'm using you can alter if you want then you are supposed to um, connect the database to your Wana so that it you know gets in the data and provides you the queries and answers related to that now um, you are supposed to provide in the host DB name then username and password of your um, SQL and then the port where you want to run it. Once you have done that, once you have connected, you are supposed to um, give the your first query to your Wana. Let's grab some information from the database schema. The information schema may need some tweaking depending on your database and this is a good starting point. So let's just do that. oops oh yeah i'll just connect this and get back to you yeah now i have connected my um, db by passing in the credentials now let's just run it yeah there you go now followed by that we are supposed to um given a plan this is this is where we are trained our large language model to better understand the data wana helps 
break the schema into digestible chunks so that it we can give that um, for the better training now we move on with the plan followed by that i am training in training my plan then followed by now let's wait let me run this as well this will take a quite uh some time so let me pause this yeah now our wana ai is trained so let's start asking questions how about finding how many artists are present in our data set so once i run that it'll query it'll explore the data set and come up with the answer from there we can extract as required yeah once it gives us the answer let me just print what is present in the um wana answer from this okay so yeah Oh, um, I am not getting anything. Wait, let me try extracting this. Oh, oops. It just gave me just a second. Yeah, now I got it. Let me show you. Once I print this, I've ha I have the number of artists present that it says 275 and then it gives me a figure which is not required for this particular query if you want you can utilize that it's just going to plot 275 in a in the in the graph and let me get the first one alone because this is required so yeah 275 artists are present and now let's explore the built-in future feature of wana ai which is you know super interesting we can deploy Vana AI in a web app with Flask. You can build a web interface to interact with your database. How great is that? I like this feature very much. So let me run it and open this for you. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and ask the same question. how many artists are present okay yeah here is the result as you can see how many artists are there it gives me the query which it has used and then the count of the artist and you can download this answer if you want in a csv format for this it's just a simple query so we don't require and then you know what we can actually play there are 275 artists yeah you got that right it plays and tells us what is the answer and if you if you are sure that this uh, answer is right you can also train this question sql pair to your uh, model and then it works in in a way better and that's a wrap we have just explored how you can leverage wana ai to seamlessly interact with your sql database using natural language from installation to querying, training a model, and even deploying a web app. Wana AI makes it super easy. I have mentioned the GitHub and the Medium link for all the code and the detailed art Medium article if you, are, if you need it. And then, if you like this video, give it up a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.